Welcome back to the second unit on using the Alice software package. This is the first video of the intermediate set of tutorials. If you are unfamiliar with the Alice software, please feel free to review our beginner set of tutorials, which will guide you through some of the basics of using the software. Our first four tutorials will provide you with some neat tips and tricks that will help you make your movies or games. The next five will use some more advanced programming skills that are common in a lot of the programming you would find in software code. In this tutorial, we will show you how dummy objects can help you move objects around your scenes more precisely and easily, saving you time and headaches. So what are dummy objects? Well, they can be found in the Add Objects section by clicking on the More Controls button. In here, you have two options adding a dummy object at the camera's current position or at the selected object's current position. A dummy object is just a mark in space. When you add them, they look like blue and red lines at right angles to each other, but when you press play to see your code in action, they become invisible. You can use them to orient the camera to give yourself a fixed bearing or to give your objects a target to aim for. We'll now show you how to do both of these. First, let's add a dummy object at the camera's current position and give it a good name so we know what each dummy represents. It will initially seem like nothing has happened, but if you look in the Objects window, you'll see a folder called Dummy Objects has appeared. Expand it and you will see our new dummy. Let's name it Camera Start Position. So where is it? Well, if you pan backwards using the camera controls, it will appear in front of us. This is a useful thing to have because it allows us to always be able to find our original camera position. So if you want to zoom the camera around to create some dynamic action shots, you can always get back to where you started. Well, let's add an instruction. Before the scene starts, we will set the camera to this point of view. You do this by choosing Camera, Set Point of View to the Dummy Object, Camera Start Position, and making the duration 0 seconds. So no matter where the camera is looking when you press play, it will always start from the dummy camera. Let's press play and see how that works. Good. Now let's put our camera back to where we started so we can easily see what we're working on. Click the camera object, then methods, then set camera point of view to, and finally select camera start position. In this scene, we want to make the man walk around the rocks and embrace his wife. Now we could just guess the amount he has to walk, but an easier way to do this is to place a dummy object that he can walk to and then turn at. Now here's a neat trick. Instead of moving the camera to the point you want him to turn at, which is pretty slow and cumbersome, you can just move an object there and drop a dummy at it. So let's grab one of those rocks and move it to where you want the man to turn the first time. Click Drop Dummy at Selected Object and choose the rock. Name the dummy and move the rock to the next turning point and drop another dummy. Be sure to name that dummy object too. Move the rock back, and now let's make the man walk to the first dummy object. And from there, we'll make him walk to the second, and then on to the girl. Now let's take a look to see if that works. easy, and we didn't have to guess any distances through trial and error. We can also jazz up the scene by adding some dynamic camera movements. Again, use the rock to place a dummy object off into the distance and give it a name.
Now we can move the camera to that dummy object and spin around to look back at the scene. To spin the camera around isn't an obvious instruction. Use camera, turn left, 0.5 revolutions, which is equal to about 180 degrees, and then choose as seen by and the dummy object. At the same time, we need to make the camera move towards that dummy object. So we'll place both of these instructions in a do together box. This would be the same if you wanted to spin around any object. If you actually want to spin around an object while looking at it, then use the same instruction, but just place the camera a distance from the object you want to spin around. Here's an example. Since the man is walking towards the woman, let's make her turn to face him. So drag in a turn to face method and select Aboriginal Man. Let's see how it looks if we insert in at the point where the man turns to walk towards his wife. Now let's get really fancy and have a shot from the air. Again, we'll need to move the rock to find a position above the couple in the sky and drop a dummy. And don't forget to rename your dummy. We will move the camera to the dummy object in the sky and then make the camera point to the woman. Finally, we'll get the Aboriginal man to raise his arms to embrace his wife. And let's take a look. Excellent. If you want to spend a bit more time, you can have a lot of these actions happening at the same time so that the camera and the people are moving at the same time to create really fluid shots. In the next lesson, we will explain about vehicles, a tool that allows objects to replicate each other's movements so that you can easily make people carry objects, pick things up, or literally ride vehicles. Thanks for watching.